just thank you for coming because whether you're two people or a hundred com uh, people, us comedians are real insecure and miserable in life and we just appreciate your support. <laughs> that was the punchline. <laughs> so, thank you. So my name's Amy and I'm from the country and I don't know what to do with my life, y'all. And people, they've been asking me, they're like, hey, Amy, you're getting older. What do you think you're gonna do with your life? And I think about it, I do. But you know what happens is I just get real, real sleepy. <laughs> I do. I love to sleep, y'all. And people ask me, how do I stay so young? Look, and I tell them, well, I'm up at 11, and I'm back down at 1 for my nap. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Will you go to all my shows? So people think I'm good? Thank you, sir. Back to me. So you guys, I live in one room in Hollywood, you know, and it's so small there. When I'm broke, I'm there. When I'm mad, I'm there. When I'm lonely, I'm there. I just dream of one day being broke but in a different room. <laughs> Thank you, one person. <laughs> and I might be broke, y'all, but I am not cheap. And I will spend the last money I have for food on my phone bill, because I'd rather have nothing to eat than no one to call to talk about how hungry I am. <laughs> Thank you. You don't get me, do you, sir? You don't get my sense of humor? OK. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I never have any extra money, y'all. Like, for example, when I call the bank, the lady's like, your balance is $54.62. And I'm like, wow. And she's like, overdrawn. <laughs> and this cute little accent I got, y'all, it ain't working for me anymore. I mean, even when I hear myself, I think I'm dumb and bull****. <laughs> <laughs> That's my friend laughing, thanks. <laughs> But I thought my life was bad until the other day I saw a homeless man drinking a more expensive beer than me. Because <laughs> I've tried everything in L.A., y'all, from waitressing to cashier to toe prostituting. I'm going to tell you. And that's where I go to these foot fetish parties and men lick on my toes for money. And I wrote a rap song about being a toho. <laughs> it ain't easy being a toho. You're always on the go go. Crimping my feet, painting my toenails for all the men to lick and smell. People say go go because you be a toho. Biatch. <laughs> Thank you. I've always wanted to be a rapper. And I wrote this rap song, and it's about the traffic here in LA, and it goes like this. Put your money in the meter. Please put your money in the meter. To the T, to the R, to the A-F-F-I-C. I think somebody's trying to kill me. <laughs> on the 405, staying alive on the 405. Oh my God, what exit do I take? The Thomas God, oh give me a break. I read that thing, it's like a big old book. Then I hit a man on the bike, it was like off the hook. <laughs> oh, even that one cracked me up. And I got one more part. Oh my, oh, oh lordy damn, I can't get my car over to Barham. You know, you can't get over there to Barham. Is anybody, nobody from Hollywood? Uh, this is the wrong place to do the joke, huh? I'm sorry. No siento, sorry. So um, I got one more rap song, and y'all tell me what you think about it. I'm working on it. It's gonna go like this. I'm whitey, whitey, whitey trash from the dirty, dirty, dirty south. White, white, baby, too hot, too hot. <laughs> and the first part of it is gonna go like this. Growing up in the south, I made a name for myself. People ask me how I know rap. I say I'm not deaf. <laughs> That's all I got so far. <laughs> hey, have you guys heard of this painful thing? It's called relationships. So um, when I go on a date, my date's usually like, so Amy, what do you like to do? Well, I don't know, procrastinate? Would that be a common interest that we share? You guys didn't like that one? Okay. <laughs> And this guy asked me, he said, what's your, what's your style? Is it contemporary, casual, country? I'm like, I don't know, lazy, is that a style? <laughs> you ever get so drunk, you have a one night stand and you wake up in the morning and you look next to you, you're like, whoa, who's that? 
And then you look a little across the bed and you're like, there's two of them. Okay, you guys aren't that type of crowd? Okay. <laughs> okay, the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sing a song dedicated to all the people that have dumped me in my lifetime. You don't like me, do you, sir? Right here. Thank you, I appreciate it. Okay, here we go. So all the people who have dumped me, screw you cause I'm gonna be famous on TV. Yeah, you, you know just who you are. Remember me, the one who said she'd be a star. <laughs> Go find you a little slut and kiss my butt. <laughs> See, they like me. Okay, second verse. You did me a favor. Oh, yes, you did. You childish little nasty kid. You broke my heart, but not for long. Only till I wrote this million dollar song. <laughs> Go find you a little slut and kiss. My butt. Okay, I got one more verse. I think you guys know the chorus by now, so I want you to join in with me. Okay, ready? Let's do it. I bet you'll see me on MTV one day. You'll see me and you'll start to say, Well, God, I should have treated her right. I wonder where she is tonight. And I'd be rich and famous on TV singing. Ready? Let's do it. A freaking slut and kiss my freaking butt in an ear. Thanks a lot. That's all my time.